Hey friends, today's video is another farmhouse style clean and decorate with me. I have some new farmhouse decor pieces that we're putting up in this video. And as always, I hope it gives you a ton of motivation and decorating inspiration. So let's jump right into it. All right, so we're starting off in my bedroom this morning. I like to open up the blinds and then go around and pick up all of the dirty laundry off of the floor and put a load of laundry in the dishwasher. This helps so much with just keeping control of my laundry so it doesn't get out of hand. One of the things that I try to do every day is make my bed. I feel like it just gets my day off on the right foot. I already feel like I accomplished something. My room looks 10 times more put together when my bed is made and it really doesn't take me that much time. So making my bed is always a priority in the morning, that and doing a load of laundry. I just feel so empowered to take on the day if I get those two things done before I even walk downstairs in the morning. Another simple thing that I love doing is after I make my bed and tidy up my room, I use this room spray and it's just so calming and it makes the space just feel so relaxing and inviting. And whenever I come in here throughout the day, it just makes me so happy. So I highly suggest picking up a room spray for your bedroom that's relaxing. Mine has sage and mint and it just smells so good and adds just an extra element of cozy to the space which I love okay and now on to this room when you first walk in through our front door it's the first room you see miles calls it the craft room because this is where we go to do all of our crafts it really bothers me when this room looks cluttered because again when you first walk in the door it's the first room you see so if that room is cluttered my mind just immediately feels overwhelmed and cluttered so at least once a day i try to come in here and give this room some attention I'm a go to fast. I feel so rich. And the clutter in here isn't even really that bad, but I want to stay on top of it so it doesn't turn into a huge disaster. And if you want to talk about a huge disaster, this room before I did this makeover to make it how it is now, this used to be our kids' playroom and that just was so not functional it was always a mess talk about being overwhelmed by a mess when you first walk in the door that was terrible so this space is already a hundred times better than that but still i'm trying to be proactive and stay on top of it i don't want it to get anywhere near what it used to be I stopped by Michael's the other day and all of their spring decor was marked 70% off including all of their lanterns and something about lanterns I just love for home decor. I'm such a sucker for those. So as soon as I saw they were on sale, I knew that I was going to leave with one. So I found this really pretty white one with a little silver detail and I thought it would just look really nice in this room. I'll probably add a candle to it at some point, but for now I just like the look that it gives to this little space. Ooh. 
I found this three pack of flags at the Target dollar spot yesterday, as well as this planter, which was on clearance for only $5. It was such a steal. I had my eye on it all season. I think it was originally 15, so I definitely had to pick it up once I saw it was on clearance. And we were originally supposed to go away over the 4th of July, but our vacation got canceled because of COVID, like I know so many others have as well. So long story short, I decided to decorate our home at the last minute since we were going to be here and this video is actually going to be posted on the 4th of July so here's a little 4th of July decor inspiration for you. I'm adding all of this to my summer market stand that I had made. I'm just going to switch out the sign and add some of these flags in here to make it a little bit more patriotic. My DIY awning is definitely on its last leg. Um, the cardboard is just starting to bow under the pressure but I'm probably going to take it down after this weekend. It was really fun having it up and I may do something similar over here for fall. I'm not sure yet but this area is definitely one of my favorites to decorate seasonally. I have so much fun coming up with my decor theme for this table so stay tuned for what I come up with for fall because you better believe I'm already researching fall decor ideas and all of that fun stuff. And I wanted to take this time to mention that I have started a second channel. It is called Jessica Giffen Lifestyle. And on that channel is where I'm going to be sharing pretty much anything aside from home decor and organization and all of my usual content over here. I'll be sharing a lot more of our family, a lot of content for moms, recipes, my keto journey. I shared all of this over on my Instagram, but I also wanted to share it for anyone who doesn't have an Instagram or doesn't follow me over there. So if any of that sounds interesting to you, I will leave the link to my new channel down below and it would just mean the world to me if you came over and subscribed and said hi. It seems like I'm always changing out the decor on my dining room table because I always am, but I was so curious to see what this little tree would look like that I had up in my bedroom on the table. So I put it here and I actually love it. Back. Oh, oh. 
One of the things that I am switching up in this video is my decor that I have had here on this wall. I took down the vintage sign in a previous video and now I'm taking down this mug rack holder. There are two things that I'm putting up here and I am so excited to switch it up a little bit and just give it a fresh new look. One of those items is here and I'll be putting it up in this video. I just need to wait for my husband because I do need a drill gun to hang it and the second one was supposed to be here in time for this video, but I just got a shipping notification that day that said it was delayed. So look out next week for the other piece that's coming in that I'm putting over here on this wall. I cannot wait to show you guys. These two items I picked up at Hobby Lobby on clearance. They were part of their spring collection and I thought they would look so cute on my peg rail here in my kitchen. I found these vintage shutters on the Facebook marketplace for $30 for the two of them. I have always dreamed of having vintage shutters somewhere in my house and these fit perfectly on my dining room windows and those windows needed some sort of window treatment and I feel like this was just meant to be. I was so excited and I've actually had these here for probably a week and my husband promised he would hang them them for me tonight and I am so excited to see how they're gonna look. Another piece that I have always dreamed of having somewhere in my house is a vintage scale. I'll actually leave the link to this one down below. It's not a real vintage scale, but it looks that way and I am so excited to get it hung up, but you will see a blank space next to it, which is where the item that is coming in a few days will be going. So make sure to check back on my channel. I will have that video up either Wednesday or Saturday. I love how the shutters look in our dining room. It definitely helps anchor the room and just adds that extra touch that it was missing in there. And the scale, I plan on putting a real fern or some sort of real plant in here, but for now, I just put this pretty little faux plant in a basket just so we could get an idea of what it might look like when a real one is in there. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and make sure to subscribe and stay tuned for next week. I will show you what item I am using to finish up this wall. I know you guys are going to love it. I will see you in my next one. Bye guys!